Because right now, with the weather like this, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, time to start planning to go back down to LA. But the problem with that is, um, I don't know if you guys know this about comics, we're, born, we're born with a birth defect. You guys know you have that voice inside your head that says, don't or do say that? We don't have one. <laughs> Instead, I have another voice going, oh, don't say it! This gets me in trouble all the fucking time, especially at the border. <laughs> Has anyone been through customs lately? Oh, fuck. Those guys have issues. They need a hug. <laughs> I get down to the border via Greyhound because I'm living the dream. <sighs> I get off. This big burly guy, full body armor with a machine gun, starts drilling me full of questions. And I shit you not, this is one of the questions he asks me. He goes, Boy, you got any drugs, drug paraphernalia? And before I snap off the first thing that comes to my head, which was, oh shit, I knew I forgot to pack something. I'll be right back. <laughs> but before that snaps off, all of a sudden a voice I've never heard before goes, anal cavity search. <laughs> <laughs> and the vision of this big burly guy putting on a rubber glove going, boy, bend over and try to relax. <laughs> I hope he calls. <laughs> so I'm down in LA living the Canadian entertainment dream, which basically means I'm still homeless, but I'm wearing shorts in February. <laughs> the Canadian entertainment dream. And so I'm out doing my shows, but I've also got to make money. So I go to Cash Corner there, like, you know, day laborers. And so there, down there, that's Home Depot. So I go hang out in front of Home Depot, and there's like me and 50 Mexicans. And they're looking at me like... <laughs> so after a while, one walks out and goes, Hey, gringo, why are you here? And I'm like, oh shit, sorry, I'm Canadian. His jaw drops. He's like, oh my god, snowbacks. We've heard of you. We'll get you work. And sure enough, a little while later, some redneck pulls up in a van, you know, in a truck. Yeah. Someone pulls up in a van and starts offering candy. Jump in! No. Uh, some redneck pulls up and he's like trying his Spanish. He's like, I need three amigo. I need. And I'm like, you need three guys. And he's like, who's that? English! You get in my truck. You're my translator today. And on the way to the job site, I'm sitting thinking, at what point do I explain to him? All the Spanish I know comes from watching Dora the Explorer. <laughs> you know? So, sure enough, that job ends, the Spanish guys get me on all Spanish crew, right? And they're like, all right, Deej, anyone gives you a hard time, just repeat after me, no habla. Yeah, I'm like, that's gonna fucking work. <laughs> but on a job site, sure enough, some redneck comes yelling at me, and I'm like, no habla? <laughs> He's like, wait, aren't you Canadian? <laughs> no habla, eh? <laughs> so I run out of money and I'm moving, you know, I'm heading back to Canada because it's summertime again. <laughs> and um, I'm going via Greyhound because I'm still living the dream. And I'm going to Canadian Customs, which by the way is 180. I show up to Canadian Customs, she's like, hey dear, how long you been gone? Oh my god, really? That long? Guess you're missing some tennies. Here's a double double. <laughs> Because it's Canadian Customs slash Tim Hortons, just to save some space. <laughs> She's like, I gotta ask you some stupid questions. And I'm like, go ahead, shoot. I've been around Americans for three months. What can you say? And she's like, do you got any drugs or drug paraphernalia on you? And I'm like, you understand I'm going to Vancouver, right? <laughs> That's like bringing food to an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> right? Like, you get off the Greyhound in Vancouver, there's the people who lined up to sell you drugs. They're not good drugs, but they're still drugs. <laughs> right? And my roommate says I have anger issues because I'm a recovering Torontonian. And I'm like, note to self, kill roommate. But he's taking me out to rallies, and I'm loving the rallies. But uh, I went to one rally, I saw a pretty girl. Guys, don't go to rallies to pick up women. Just don't. But this pretty girl was holding a sign and said, down with the white man. So I grabbed a piece of paper and marker and wrote my own sign. It said, go down on this white man. <laughs> I was asked to leave and not come back. You guys been a wonderful audience. Enjoy the weather. <laughs>
T.J. Roy, ladies and gentlemen.